Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you are seeing from me, welcome. My name is Katie, otherwise known as Put Your Makeup On and I post videos like this every Monday and Thursday. Before you leave, I really hope you get the chance to subscribe to my channel and while we're at it, let's give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. For today's video, if you haven't already noticed, I am not my chipper self today. I did wake up with a massive headache. Thank goodness I have the day off today. Today and tomorrow I do have off from work. I am steadily working on Thanksgiving and Black Friday, but I am feeling a little bit better. I have a tension headache that like starts here and like goes all the way back into my neck area. I don't know if it's from teeth chattering. I do suffer from TMJ. I don't know if it was I was tossing and turning or if, if it was my head on the pillow. I do get headaches when I wake up in the morning kind of sporadically so I am feeling a little bit better and I thought that this would be a nice opportunity for me to show you how to do makeup when you don't feel good. We've all been there. For those of you who have to go to work and have to go to school when you are feeling like crap and want to put yourself together and don't want to walk out of the house like this, these are just some products that I find work really well when you are not feeling that well. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a nice, thin, light makeup. I'm going to go over some skincare products for you as well. So if you want to know how to do makeup when you are feeling crappy, you know what to do. This is how we do it on Put Your Makeup On, so just keep watching. So we are going to start off with the Garnier Fertis Micellar Water. I use this literally every day. I love this micellar water so much. But this one, just for some reason, it just like cleans everything off. I'm just popping this on with a little cotton around just to kind of clean my skin. Since I'm not really feeling the greatest, I'm not going to be in the bathroom for 10 hours watching my face. And this just kind of just takes all of the grime and gunk off your skin. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of skincare. This is the Ola Hendrickson Truth, what do you call it? The Truth Serum um, with vitamin C in it. Vitamin C is really helpful for when you're sick. It brightens, lightens, and tightens everything. And I just like to take a little bit and just pat it all into my skin. I want to get my hydration levels up. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I feel sick, my skin just kind of feels so crappy. So adding a good amount of moisturizers and skincare underneath the makeup is definitely going to help everything last a heck of a lot longer. For eye cream, I like using the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. It's a nice light weight gel cream. It's a nice blue color which looks like this and I have been liking this it works really well under makeup I'm just patting this in using my ring finger I'm not going all the way up and then for my moisturizer today I'm gonna use the Dr. Brent XXY face cream this is packed full of really good nutrients vitamins antioxidants pat this in I've been really liking the Dr. Brett line. They got a lot of good skincare, a lot of good anti-aging products. My skin has really been liking this moisturizer lately. Let's go on to a thin, light amount of eye makeup. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. So even when I'm not feeling that great, I still like to do a little bit of eye makeup just so I feel more put together. And I like to go in with some sort of primer that cancels out the darkness all around my eye. And for this, I'm going to be using the Sigma Eye Base in the shade Persuade. This is a really fantastic color just to kind of cancel out everything and I like to go in with a brush for this. You could totally use your fingers but I just like the way the brush spreads the product out. It just makes life a little easier. So I am only going to be using one shadow for today since I'm not feeling that great. 
there's no way I'm going in with like 10 different eyeshadows. So we are going in with ColourPop today. This is the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Lovely. And this is a metallic finish. I did do a whole video showing uh, my entire ColourPop collection. So I will have that video linked down below. But this is a really nice shade. It's a nice champagne color. I'm just going to use this on my ring finger. And we are just going to use our ring finger just to pat this in to the lid area. I'm not going any further than that. Just keeping it on the lid keeping a little bit and then I'm gonna use my pinky just to kind of blend out the harsh lines. I'm gonna skip eyeliner today and I'm gonna move right on to mascara and I'm just using my Maybelline mascara. This is the Lash Sensational. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what mascara you're going in with. I really don't think it matters but I happen to have been liking this one. It gives my lashes a little bit of length and a little bit of volume without making them look, you know, too crazy. Obviously, I'm not going in with falsies today. So I'm totally going to skip the brows today. I don't feel good. I'm not even going to bother. So whatever. Let's go on to the face. Keeping it real, you guys. I mean, come on. Let, let, we have all been there. For the face, I still want to use primer. And this is the Bare Minerals Primetime Neutralizing Base, which does have a nice yellow color to it, which kind of helps brighten up everything. You could see it has a very strong yellow tone, but once that blends in, you really don't notice it that much, so don't be scared of a super intense yellow type of color, because it will blend in regardless. Usually I like to be very matte, with my foundations, it is my life goal to be matte, be being that I am very oily. But when I'm sick, for some reason, my skin just doesn't really look the best when it's matte. So I am using today the Aqua Luminous Foundation from Becca. This is a really nice foundation that gives your skin a little bit of like that healthy like glow from within. It's a really nice lightweight formulation. If I am blowing my nose a lot throughout the day or if I am just kind of touching my face because sometimes I can't help it, it just makes everything, my skin, look more put together. Now this foundation does give a little bit of a glow, which to be quite honest with you, I'm perfectly okay with blends really nicely into the skin. I look a lot more put together even with just that on just by itself. Definitely did add a nice amount of like hydration to my skin and I don't have to worry about looking dry throughout the day. So after foundation, I still like to go in with color corrector. Being that my dark circles, even when I'm not sick, my dark circles are honestly still horrendous. So I am going to be going in with the Master Camo Pen from Maybelline. I love this thing to death, you guys. If you guys suffer from dark circles, I 1000% think you need this in your life. The color of it is so perfect. The applicator makes life a heck of a lot easier. And I just love the way it blends underneath a concealer. So that is what this looks like. Master Camo 100% I would highly recommend. And for concealer, I'm using a mini size of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going in with the shade Custard. Right over the color corrector. I don't want anything too, too brightening because I feel like it would just look a little much. And I'm going to be using the F64 brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to pat everything in. I still like to add a little bit of powder on top of my foundation just so that nothing moves. So I am using the True Match Powder from L'Oreal and I'm using the shade W4 with the Sigma F30 brush. Really great brush for powder. I'm just patting this on very, very lightly. I don't want to necessarily lose the um, luminous finish that my skin is getting from the foundation. So I'm going in with a very, very light amount of the powder, but still setting it. And what I'm going to do is go in with a separate brush. This is a e.l.f. Uh, blush brush 
really perfect size for my under eye area. I still want to set my under eyes a little bit just to ensure that that concealer doesn't move throughout the day. I'm going to skip bronzer and I'm going to move on right to blush and highlight. I definitely think when you are on under the weather, I feel like you lose a lot of your, um, your tones. So adding a little bit of blush and adding a little bit of highlight, I definitely feel it helps. And for this, the Milani baked blushes are very pretty for that. I'm using the shade Rosadoro number no. two. These are baked, so they do give your skin a little bit of a slight sheen. And I'm using the F40 brush from Sigma for this and popping this on like just the cheek area just to kind of make believe I am healthy even though I feel like crap. I'm just going to go with my powder brush again just to kind of go over that and soften out the harshness. Sometimes I underestimate Milani blushes. Definitely don't want to forget the highlight. I still want a little bit of a glow even when I am blowing my nose and all I want to do is pass out. Um, so I'm using the Fenty highlighter, the Kilowatt highlighter, and Mean Money, Mean Money and Hustle Baby with a F, what are you called? F03 highlight cheekbone highlighter brush from Sigma. I'm just using this just to highlight the areas. This highlight is amazing, by the way. I am obsessed with this. It just gives like that really nice, like that wet look. Like, do you see that? Anyway, let's do some last little touches, and then that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. I like to do this because I feel so naked without mascara on the bottom lashes. For lips today, I definitely didn't want to do anything so matte. My lips tend to get a little dry when I'm under the weather. So I'm going in with the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in with the shade Rose. This is a little mini size. You can get the full size, and I think they sell little like trio packs for the holidays. But this is just a really nice um, light color. I really like this lip balm because it feels super uber comfortable. I feel like I can go through a couple hours and I don't have to worry about touching up and the tone of it is really pretty. It brings out the pretty pinkness in the lips. They do have a lot of other shades available but the rose one is my favorite. Last and final step is just setting this into place. I very, very rarely use this product but I feel like on days like today where I feel like I just need extra hydration, this is the perfect product to do so. This is the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist and I'm going to shake the bottle up a little bit and it just adds a little bit more hydration into the skin without it being so overly dewy. So that is pretty much it for today's tutorial. I'm sorry if this video is not my perky, silly, kooky, normal self. Um, I am literally going to wash all this makeup off and probably take a nap again. But be sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Don't forget to come back every Monday and Thursday for a brand new video. I have all the products listed down below like always and I shall see you in the next one. Have a great day guys. Bye!